It seems like fiction science, but it's not. Basically, we take a patient with cancer, take the blood from this patient, isolate these cells from the blood, and then we genetically modify these cells in a petri dish, expand these cells in the GMP facility, check that these cells are what they're supposed to be, and then reinfuse them back in the patient when the patient is ready to receive them. I'm Gian Pietro Dotti, I am an ND, and I am a professor in the Department of Microbiology and Immunology at UNC. I study cancer because I think that uh, this is one of the unfortunate diseases that still uh, uh, needs to be uh, cured. And, you know, it affects uh, basically everybody. My name is Barbara Savoldo. I'm a professor in the Department of Pediatric Hematology Oncology at the University of North Carolina. Here's how CAR T cell therapy works. Antibody binds to foreign pathogens like bacteria and viruses and infected cells and help neutralize them through the immune system. Through a different mechanisms, T cells eliminate cells infected with these pathogens. CAR T cell therapy combines both of these processes with genetic engineering. Using blood samples, we can isolate a patient's T cell and reprogram them to express an antibody so that they can attack a specific patient's cancer. Then we create millions of them to make a treatment that gets infused into a patient back at the hospital. And this entire process can be done here at UNC. The GMP facility is an environment uh, very similar to a UGAS surgery. So the environment needs to be with a very low possibility to contaminate the cells that you are expanding. So you need to dress up when you go in, you have a mask, all the air in the facility is controlled and purified, and every activity that you do on that facility is basically recorded. So we know exactly which reagents you use, everything has been barcoded, so we want to be able to track back. If something goes wrong, we want to know exactly what happened and why. Any cancer basically could be now targeted with CAR T cell therapy. So leukemia, lymphoma, myeloma. Uh, this is where we've uh, reached the, the most uh, successes in you know, the highest cure rate. Obviously, these are not the only cancer. We have a lot of other type of cancer, like uh, lung cancer, pancreatic cancer, brain tumors. And so this is where I think the potential of CAR T cell therapy would make the most effect. We can grow whatever cells we like. We may be able to produce different type of vectors that we are not currently using for our purposes, we could be able to make other reagents like antibodies. So I would like to see that facility to be used by multiple investigators and the expertise that we have. So we just need more people that want to invest in something challenging, which is cell therapy in general and not only CAR-T cell therapy. 